So you told us about. I hope I don't. I didn't jinx it. Um, you told us about entertainment field and how you got started. But what I want to know is, what kind of a mindset do you need to have to be in that kind of field? Because I feel like you get a lot of rejections, a lot of no's. You get a lot of naysayers when you go into that industry. Is that the case? Yeah, you do. I mean, um, like I said before, one of the most important things I feel is that you have to have a lot of self-confidence and belief in yourself. You know, so I spend a lot of time just, you know, just trying to self, just build myself up, build my mindset up, you know, to the point where I'm not worried about what people think and what people want to say about me, because you're going to get that a lot of times. Well, anything that you're trying, anything that you're trying to do this, you know, against the grain or, or something that's a little bit or, or a lot, where you're not just, you know, whether it's the music industry, whether it's the film industry or anything like that, it just comes with, you have to have a lot of belief in yourself. And you, you can't let other people, you know, words or other people's opinions or your close friends or family people, you know, bring you down. You have to have a complete belief in yourself and a belief in God, for real. And I believe How do you create that belief system? Because I feel like some individuals might be asking that question, like, how do I create that if I don't have it or I don't know where I'm at on the scale of 1 to 10? How did you create that? Um... You see what I'm saying? Because think, there, there must be a formula. It's not it, just it, like people so saying I, no. I say, um, you know, once I got spiritually connected with God, honestly, you know, I got more connected to God and, you know, really praying for certain things. And once I learned to, you know, pay attention to signs, after you pray to God, you have to learn to pay attention to the signs. And, you know, and the more you pay attention to the signs and the more you pray, the more you believe in God, you know, he'll show you. God is real. He'll show you these things. And that right there, along once you start paying attention to signs and things like that, it just, your faith just started getting bigger and bigger. Your faith just started growing more and more. And then you have to believe in yourself. And how important is work ethic in entertainment industry? Because I feel like a lot of people, like myself, right? I may not see everybody yeah. in that industry how much they work hard or how many hours they have put in to get where they're at. I only see the glamorous. I see when they pop, when they blow up, yeah. this, this, all these different things. Then I see them. But then to me, that's like an overnight success. But in reality, it's not an overnight success. Yeah. They've been at it for a long time, but I only see it overnight because now they get recognition out there. And then we hear that song, that movie, that this. I mean, whatever the case, the crap that they are in. So how much work ethic has to do with that? Um, a lot. You know, I believe that, uh, you know, hard work beats talent. You know, a person, I've seen it over and over. I've seen a person that works extremely hard and have less talent be more successful than the person that has a lot of talent and don't work hard. You know, so I believe in hard, especially if you're an entrepreneur or you're doing something that, you know, you want to do and you're not working for nobody else. My motto, the way, how I make myself believe or work harder is I say, okay, I've worked corporate before. You know, I've had to work nine to fives. And I said, if I can go and work a nine to five for somebody else every day, you know, I can definitely, for myself being going into entrepreneurship, I can, I have to work at least a minimum nine to five for myself. I need to take that same concept. But not only it's that. Like you hire yourself, but then, you know, at the end of the day, if you do the nine to five and anything extra, at least you have some, you have a vested interest in you being successful where in employment, that may not be the case. And I'm not saying all employers are bad and you shouldn't work for anybody. No, so, you know, sometimes you got to go do what you got to do. And I think the best entrepreneurs are the ones that have actually had, had a job before. Yeah. Yep. Because they understand what an employment is all about. Exactly. They don't want to go back to it. And I think it builds up that character, how to treat people yep. when you are in that position. So I think it's yep. got its own benefit. But I feel like a lot of people want to do the shortcut, man. Yeah. Well, see, me, um, you know, working a nine to five, working corporate, it definitely taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about customer service, what you need to be an entrepreneur. You know how to just deal with different type of people and things like that. It also helped me build my confidence to let me know that if I can go work for this company and I can produce these type of numbers for them, 
I know I can do that for anybody else. So I'll, so I, when I sit, decided to say, you know what, I'm going to stop working, I'm going to just do it all for myself, you know, I already have the confidence that I can do it for a company. So if I can do it for somebody else, man, I know for sure I can do it for myself. You know, and I'm willing to, and I'm willing to, to risk it all to, 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 to prove myself wrong or prove myself right. You get what I'm saying? Um, Listen, so Napoleon Hill said it. When a man puts it, I mean, there's nothing more powerful on this planet than a human soul on fire. Once you're on fire and you believe in it, nobody else needs to believe in it. As long as you believe in it, it's it. It's always impossible till somebody does it, then it becomes possible. Yeah. So to me, it's like, why not be that person? But on the way up there, you might get some punches. Yeah, on the way up. And, and listen, I'm prepared for all the punches. I'm prepared to fall and get back up. I love it. You know, but like <laughs> I said, the first thing is about people believing in themselves. I mean, you have to believe in yourself and you have to know that, you know, you have to not let the outside people and opinions affect you because that, like, a person's opinion, somebody that's close to you, you know, if they're not giving you the right energy, it will deter your entire plan. I agree. And, and this is my philosophy is if somebody's giving you advice and they're not financially, let's say, for example, I come to you and I want to give you a, an advice. Or let's say you want to come to me and give me advice. Let's say my goal is to make $100,000 this year. If that person has not produced $100,000 or they're not in a position to give you advice oh, about yeah. Like, I see so many mom and dads, uncles, cousins, nephews, they have a lot of opinions. But the opinion, it, even though sometimes they're coming from a, a state of love and appreciation and their family members, but that advice is not backed by, by science, by knowledge, by truth, by, by, by actual reality. You know, the guy is broke, he's giving me advice why not to do this thing. I'm like, how would you know if it doesn't work, you know? So getting the right coach and the right mentor, I think is important. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely think so too. You know, like, see me, for example, like, I would definitely, you know, that's how I am. Like, I, you have to show me something. I'm a person, you, I have to see something to believe, you know, and I had to learn because a lot of people, everybody have an opinion. Everybody, they think they, everybody want to say something. You can, I can go outside right now and talk to a million people on the street right now. Everybody have an opinion about something, you know? So I had to learn to kind of, um, like, skim through those people and try to find the people that I know that somebody that I see that got something going on, somebody that I see that's in a better position that can help me, you know? And I have to see it. Because if, be, if not, I'll be listening to everybody. And, and that's the crazy part because... Opinion is very cheap, and everybody wants to give it to you, but your opinion of this may not, you know, may not be based on reality and actuality. So that's that's my problem. But can you imagine how many people's future goes down the drain because they listen to people that are not qualified to give that advice? Yeah. So it's like one of those things that I think everybody needs to know. Give me one of the hardest things or one of the routines that you do to keep that belief system up. Like, how's your routine as an entrepreneur in the morning? Like, give us a little bit of that. Do you meditate in the morning? What are some of your recommendations if somebody wants to get into that industry and they're like brand new, they're starting, they're looking for advice? What are a couple of things that they could do? Well, the first thing I stick with this, this is like my plain base system. I have a nine to five, like mine said, like every day, Monday through Friday, I know I have to go work for a job nine to five, I have to at least plot that for my work every day, you know? And everything else is on, oh, it's extra. I have the bare minimum work at nine to five. When I wake up every day, nine o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, I have to be putting on my work mindset. What do I have to do for business? What paperwork do I need to read? Whether, matter of fact, and working, it could be anything. It could be working out. It could be reading a book. It could be writing, jotting down some plans. You know, anything just to work, just stay in a working mode because a lot of times when you're an entrepreneur, you have to really be, you know, have to really manage your time the right way. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of times you can wake up when you don't got nobody to tell you to go to work or something like that. You can sit on the couch and watch TV. I wake up every day and say, hey, man, I put myself in the work. What can I do to work? What can I do to take my business to the next level? Uh, who can I call? Anything that, you know, to work towards my goal and what I'm trying to do. You know, and that's, I feel like that's the main, that's the basics. And then just continue to try to get better every day, mentally, physically, um, spiritually. 
You know, so I try to at least read a little bit, at least 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day. You know, make sure I work out, make sure my health is good. You know, because your body has to be good. You know, you, you know, we out here chasing money and we, we're or, or chasing financial, you know, success and financial freedom and things like that. But then you're not taking care of your, your health. And, you know, being an entrepreneur, you have to have energy. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of late nights. So, you know, I had to start eating right because if I don't eat right now, I'm not in shape now. I don't have as much energy that I need. And for me to make, for me to reach a billion dollars takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. So I try to put myself in the best position possible, you know, make sure I'm in shape, make sure I'm healthy, make sure I'm reading something every day, make sure, you know, I'm continuing to, to build these muscles. You know? You got to highlight things. You got you to gotta highlight things. You got you to you gotta work. I mean, sitting there and reading this stuff ain't easy. And this is not an easy book. So, I mean, you just got to, you got to do what you got to do. If you got to, you got to, you got to fuel your mind, soul, body, everything together. Now, I'm not doing the best job at all, all three departments, but yeah. at least I'm striving. At least I'm working towards it. You know, you don't have to have it right all the time. The you first don't have to have it right. You just got to work towards it. Listen, the bare minimum, I tell myself, listen, if I can, if I can read for 10 minutes, just give me 10 minutes to read, you know, and I don't do it every day, but at least I try in my mind. Cause I, I, I'm always trying to better myself at all times, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually. I think that's the key to life. You know, so I, I put that at the top. So every day I wake up, what can I do mentally? Let me read at least five to 10 minutes. Let me at least try to- Yeah, and listen, let me, if let you me don't have five, 10, 15 minutes to read every day, your excuse better be that you got a million dollars. But even if you had a million dollars, that means you, are, you have no time. That means you're gonna lose that million dollars. So like 10, 15 minutes a day, like we always make that excuse for entrepreneurs, but why not dedicate it and be on your schedule for 30 minutes, mandatory? Mm -hmm. What would happen if you make that mandatory 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. You wake up a little bit earlier, sleep a little bit late, do whatever you gotta do. I like to read at nighttime. So that's like the last thing that's in my mind. And I just go to sleep. I don't know if it works or not, but I figured it out myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna read before I go to sleep. I like to pass out on a book to say I, I slept with the book, right? But yeah. you gotta read. Leaders are readers. If you don't read, how are you ever gonna add to your tool set? So I agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, another another thing I would like to share though, um, you know, like I like I like to listen to a lot of motivational speaking and motivational. Like people that I just like, I go to YouTube sometimes and I just type in motivational quotes. And it's just something just to charge you up in the morning, you know? And, you know, like I said, for entrepreneurship, man, like you have to, sometimes you got to just, I, people have an idea and they procrastinate on that idea or they want to believe in themselves. And you got an idea, you think about it, you pray on it. And sometimes you just got to just, just jump off the porch. My first thing in business, like when I want to do something or start something new, first thing, if I come up with a new idea, the first thing I do is get a logo made. It's my process. I get a logo made for the name, and I feel like my idea just came to life, just like that. You know, you can find a graphic designer to make, to make a logo for thirty to to fifty dollars to hundred dollars. It's cheap. I get the logo made. Now my idea became a reality. And then I like I that the, idea. And then once I get the logo made, I go print it on a T-shirt, and I wear the T-shirt. I love that. I'm going to implement that. I mean, I do get the domain name all the time, but then I don't go that other step. So I definitely need to be able to add that. The logo, the logo, the logo brings it from your mind and makes it reality. And now you have that logo in front of you or you, and then you put on a, you print on the t-shirt. And I was like, okay, this t-shirt and this logo right now, it could be as big as I want it to be. Right? Definitely. I love it. I love it. It could be I as big it. as I it's my, it's, it's all on me. I'm bending all on me now. This logo that I just thought about, I just had a dream about last night, became a logo, you know, and this logo right here can be as big as I want it to be. All of the work ethic that I put in. So now I got something to work towards. I got this logo that I just created off this dream that I just had. Now I got something to work towards every day. Every day, not at least minimum nine to five, because I'm going to have to go do it for somebody else. And I, I, wanna, and, I need to, and I know for sure where I'm trying to go to make it as big as I'm trying to make it, I got to put in overtime. But I don't have a problem putting in overtime because I, it's my idea, it's my vision. I love this. 
I agree I with that 100%. You know, I'm trying to make this my I'm trying to make this my lifestyle. I love it. I love it. Listen, we're not done. We're going to do a couple of more sessions probably later on. Uh got a little schedule going on right now, but definitely I'm going to reach out to you and you and I are need to do this a little bit more because I know there are a lot of people in the entertainment industry and field where they're going to need a lot of assistance and coaching and help. So we'll definitely be able to mentor them and hopefully the, the amount of work and energy we put in this is impacting the world on a better side. But I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us today. Man, thank you, man. Thanks for having me. You got it, brother. Talk to you soon. Stay safe in Atlanta. For sure, man. <laughs> All right, brother. Talk to you All soon. Right. Bye-bye. All right.